Hello there, it's Cathy from West Cumbria Rivers Trust. Welcome to our very first River School episode. I'm planning to do these probably twice a week, um, sort of about five, ten minutes long. Um, tomorrow I'm going to do some pond dipping in my pond in my garden and I'll be uploading that soon too. Um, but we're going to start at the very, very beginning today and think about some river words. So, <clears throat> to begin with, who am I? My name's Cathy. Um, my favourite thing to do is walk my dog Flynn. This is my dog Flynn there. You can see this is when he was a puppy. He's double the size of that now. Um, I also love sleeping and eating chocolate. I don't know if there's anybody else out there who feels the same. Um, and I work for West Cumbria Rivers Trust. So who are we? West Cumbria Rivers Trust is a charity and we look after rivers and lakes in West Cumbria for the benefit of people and wildlife. How do we do this? We carry out improvements to rivers and the land near them, advise people who, after, who look after the land the best way to look after our rivers because how the land is managed has a huge impact or can do on our rivers teach people about the amazing special wildlife, especially in West Cumbria. Um, we'll be learning more about that in some more River School lessons, um, but we really are really lucky in West Cumbria to have some really cool animals that are very rare and endangered. And show people how they can help. So what you can do to help protect and improve our rivers. And so this is a picture of Phil who works with us and she's working there with some volunteers. Here they are main, planting some willow. So willow is a type of tree that loves wet conditions. And here they've hammered the, the stakes in um, and then you can see it's been weaved as well. And this should grow into that riverbank and strengthen that riverbank to stop any erosion. Soil erosion is, is one of the sort of pollutants um, of river, one of the main causes of river pollution, but we will go into that in more detail in another lesson. And this is Ruth. Ruth does our electro fishing survey. So these are surveys we've been doing for over six years now. Um, so that just sends a little electrical current in, stuns the fish just for a few seconds so you can catch them and you can identify them, measure them, and that gives you a really good database of how many fish and the diversity of fish you have in your rivers. And then if maybe one of the rivers is showing a decline in a certain species, it might be an indicator that there's a problem there and then we can go along and fix it, hopefully. So today we are going to learn some river words think about how land around rivers is used and then I have a map activity that you can do at home. So the land surrounding your river. So if you imagine, it's not a great drawing but we've got mountains there in the yellow and then we've got the sort of flatter lands there and then you can see where the river goes out to the sea. So all the water that falls on the mountains and flows eventually into this river and out to sea, that's called the catchment. Does anybody know what the very, very start of a river is called? The source, so right up in the mountains, the very start, that first little beck or stream. So anybody know what it's called when the river empties out into the sea? So the, the end of the river, the mouth. Well done. Um, this might be a slightly tricky one. So does anybody know what the smaller, so it might be a smaller river going into a bigger river, or it might be a little beck going into a river. Anybody know what that's called? A tributary. Well done if you got that. And then the last one is where they those two merge. So where that tributary joins the, the, the river, where those two meet, they, they merge, that is called, anyone know? A confluence. 
So this is a picture of the catchments in West Cumbria. So you can see right at the top there, we've got the Waver and Wampool catchment. So all the little becks and streams eventually run into those two main rivers and then out into sea. And then we've got the River Ellen catchment. You can see the River Ellen comes out there in Maryport. Then we've got the Derwent catchment, which is a, an, a really big catchment. It covers a huge area. And then eventually everything joins the River Derwent and then it comes out to sea in Workington. And then we've got our Wild Rivers catchment. So we've got a real lovely selection of Wild Rivers there. We'll be concentrating on the River Ian in another lesson and learning about the cool, amazing animals that live there. So have a think about what the land is used for. So in the catchment of the river, wherever you live, there are lots of different ways that the land is used. Can you think of any ways that we use the land? <clears throat> have a little discussion between you, or you can shout some out, but unfortunately I can't hear you. Farming. Farming is a, a big one, especially in West Cumbria. Nature reserve, so we've got um, places of the, the countryside that we sort of manage particularly to, to sort of protect wildlife. Houses, we all live here don't we and unfortunately we're, we're spending quite a lot of time in our houses at the moment. Businesses, so we all go to work or we go shopping. And leisure, so usually people come on holiday to, to, to where we live don't they and they'll come either boating or walking or biking. So as you can see, the land is used for lots of different ways. We're going to go into this in more detail in another lesson, but just have a little think about how these different land uses might affect rivers. You can come back to this slide and maybe do this after at the end. If you want to have a little go at having a think about how all these different uses, and there's lots more uses that we use the, our land for, these are just a few, um, have a little think about how they might impact our rivers. Okay, so this another activity for you to do at home. So if you have an OS map, so an Ordnance Survey map at home, hopefully most of you will, try and find that map, get that out and fold it out onto the table or the floor. If you haven't got a map at home, have a look and find one online and you can maybe have a look um, and have a look at the town or the village or where you live. So get your OS map or bring one up on, online. You've got your OS map, fold it out so you've got the whole thing and then these are things that I would like you to find on your map. So find the following, a river with lots of meanders. So a meander is a bend and rivers naturally meander, they naturally bend. So have a look for a river with lots of meanders. Find a tributary. Can you remember what a tributary is? Find a confluence. Find the source of a river and find the mouth of a river. Okie doke. Thank you. That is the end of this, this lesson. Um, I shall be back on Friday. Um, hope you're all doing okay out there. See you soon.